So, uh, I know this news came out last night, but I was, like, tired because I'm a fucking human being <laughs> and doesn't get paid for this. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll talk about it today. I will talk about it today, and that's the news we're going to be uh, discussing right now, and that is the new uh, Predator movie. We got more news for the new Predator movie. Uh, for those who don't know, this, was, uh, this is the new Predator film coming out from, Fo from 20th Century Studios, formerly Fox, by David Trachtenberg, who directed 10 Cloverfield Lane. Uh, a movie I actually like. I I, um, I enjoy that movie. I know some people don't enjoy it because it doesn't follow the monster aspect, but I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, Cloverfield Paradox is a complete waste of time, but hey, the other two movies aren't that bad, but whatever. Um, hopefully we get that sequel to the, first mo to the very first movie. I'm getting off topic. I need to get back on. So this movie was called under the uh, the, uh, the uh, screening name of Skulls. And it was meant to be a secret, then someone leaked that this is a Predator movie. And Trachtenberg, he was like, oh, I was bummed. I wanted to do a cool, like, premiere, like a cool little premiere, but that got ruined, so sorry. But yeah, I'm doing a Predator movie. I'm not mad about it. But yeah, I'm do he's doing a Predator movie. He didn't, he seemed bummed that he couldn't, like, he, he, he seemed to have, like, a special way he wanted to introduce it. Maybe, like, a cool-ass teaser or something, or, tra or teaser trailer, something of that regard. And then it got spoiled, so... Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> anyway, so this is the new Predator movie, and the first Predator movie in the Disney um, era of Fox, now 20th Century Studios... So, what do I think of this? Uh, a lot of people have been... Mo most of you would probably know about this Predator movie from the flack it's been catching of having a female protagonist. And that's the only reason people are mad. They're just... People... Like, I've seen, like, whole-ass videos of, like, people who have said, like, Oh, it's a whole woke new era for, uh, for Predator. It's... We should call it the woke Predator, because it's a woman. Really? That's that's the only reason you're gonna hate because the dude because it's not you know the main protagonist doesn't have a dick. That's the reason we're hating this. We haven't seen any of the movie. We haven't seen anything, and you're just hating it on the grounds of it's a woman. I I can't help you. I I I don't know what to say, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> anyway, so. What do I think of all of this? I've actually been really excited because this is literally doing something I've wanted for every Predator movie since I've seen Pre since every Predator movie. Like if you watch the first Predator movie and more importantly Predator Two, which I like, do not fight me on that. This is that's a hill you won't win. Um, I've wanted to see a Predator period piece movie, and this is exactly what we're getting. It's set with a young Native American woman who encounters the first Predator who ever made it to Earth. Which, if you've read the comics, is real, like, that's really early. Like, they've been to Earth multiple times, like, way in the past. But then, Trachtenberg did say that he, that this tribe, the Native Americans who encounter the Predator, um, and this woman is from a time period in Native American history, which is, er he didn't say when, but he said it's very early. So, for those who don't know, Native American tribes were around for a very long ass time. So, there were, tri like, there's been recordings of some tribes even existing around the same time when mammoths still walked the earth. So, if I see a fucking mammoth in this, mo if I see a predator fight a mammoth, or a terror bird, or even like a cave lion, I'm gonna lose my shit, because that's gonna be so fucking cool. <laughs> or even like a predator killing a dire or cave bear or dire wolf. That like that shit's gonna be fire on on that ground alone. So that's why I think he meant is that it's gonna be very early. And again, that kind of falls in the predator timeline. But yeah, a predator a predator period piece movie. Try saying that five times fast. Um, is something I think not just I have wanted, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who have or are watching this video have wanted as well. Um, I. I was really excited for this news. Um, I think it's, I think it's great. Um, there are some things here and there that did make me go. I don't know if I agree with that, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, so for this Predator movie, um, this movie will be called Predator. It will be called Skull. That's not going to have Predator in the title. It's just going to be called Skull. Which I'm like, I know that was the title you were going for to hide this movie, tra uh, David, but. Um, Cats out of the bag. I'm cool if it was, like, called Predator Skulls or something of that nature, but, like, calling it Skull 
just bothers me because I we already know it's a predator movie, David. There's no hiding it. There's like no way you can hide that this is a predator movie now. Like the cat's out of the bag, the yowch is out of the bag, I should say. So just just let uh, just call it predator. You can keep the skulls, but have it like the subtitle or whatever we call that, like predator skull. Just call that call it that. And I'm pretty sure like the mouse is gonna go like ha. Oh! You gotta change your name, David! It's gotta be called Predator! We gotta get that money! Huh? Anyway. So, with Pre- So, Predator Skulls... Predator Skull, I, it, it was called Skulls, but now it's being called Skull. It bothered- Like, the title just bothered me. Like, just call it Predator, man. I don't know why I'm harping on that. Maybe because, like... I don't know! Just just call it Predator! That's my hang-up. That's, my hang up. that's That's been my hang-up. Now, the other thing that does bother, that is kind of worrisome about this movie, and this was more of a red flag, and it's like, oh, you're going to talk about the female protagonist. No, it's not the female protagonist. Um, what I'm worried about, and this is more studio than I am the director, is that in the interview I was reading that uh, David Trachtenberg said that, pre uh, that this movie is shooting for an R rating, but he said, like, there's the possibility it could be aided, edited to PG-13. And that was a red flag for me. That was, like, a that was like a big red flag uh, for me to hear that kind of news. Because I was like, oh, God, no. No, I can't deal with another, another PG-13 Predator movie. That one had aliens in it, and it sucked. No, I can't deal with it, man. I can't do it. Just... I, that's what I'm afraid of. And when I said, like, that... Uh, I'm afraid of, like, studio meddling. That's what I'm afraid of, is that Disney or whoever's in charge of 20th Century Studios is going to go, maybe cut it down to PG-13 so we can get more of that, mar uh, you know, that younger audience view. No, I don't want that. I don't, and I, and I get it. Like, in a weird way, in a weird kind of fucked way, I get if that's the way they go. I get where they're trying to go with that because The Predator, which was under released under their watch during the the uh, steps of the buyout, was an R-rated Predator film, and it sucked. It was really bad. And here's the thing. Most studio... Here's a hard truth about Hollywood. Most studios don't blame, like, the direction or whatever. They blame, like, oh, it's obviously the rating. That's why it, it sucks so bad is because maybe if we had more people watch that mo this R-rated movie, then we'd make more money. That's usually what it is. It's not like, oh, the direction was piss poor or whatever. It was more like... It obviously it wasn't the director's fault. We gotta give Shane Black and all, the, and all these writers, you know, all of this, this, and this... It was clearly the ratings fault. So, we'll edit the next that's what I'm what I'm getting at is that I'm afraid Disney or whoever's in charge of 20th Century Studios is going to look at this movie and cut it to fucking rip it ribbons to make it a PG-13 movie and we'll all be here for 2 years going release the Trachtenberg cut. That's ex that's what I'm afraid of. That's the thing I'm more concerned about than, you know, everyone having a fucking aneurysm over a over a female lead. Um, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm more worried about, is have, is running the gambit of having a PG-13 Predator movie than I am anything else. I want a hardcore R-rated Predator movie. That's good! I haven't had that since 2010! Seriously. Like, Predators. I'm still shocked that movie got made to this day. Of how everything worked against it. I'm still... Like... Fabergasted. And that's a word I tend not to use. Because it's really hard to add it into most sentences. But like, here I am... Talking about this. And you already know if this movie... Like... Here's the other thing I think is going to happen. And it's what I kind of want. Um, if I'm being complete... If all cards are on the table... Uh, that's what I'm, like I said, I'm more scared of it being cut to ribbons on the cutting, on the editing room floor than I am of anything else. Because we've had a PG-13 Predator movie. And it was with aliens, and it sucked. But the problem is, it made a good amount of money. Um, because of that, you know, it could actually reach more people. So, yeah, and that's what I'm afraid of, is that they'll look at the, uh, you know, the money that um, the Predator didn't make, they'll blame it on the R rating, and then they'll try to edit. But thankful. But now keep in mind, 
I want to stress that this is all hypothetical. Like, that's my thing, is that this is all just me being hypothetical because of what Trachtenberg said in regards to the rating of the movie. Like, I want to throw that quick disclaimer out that that's what I meant. I'm not saying that's official. What I'm saying is that's what I kind of... That's what I'm afraid of, uh, what, of what it might happen. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is something about the Predator itself. What version of the Predator are we going to get? We've seen all kinds of Predators. And if I'm being, uh, like, total cards on the table, I kind of want a female Predator. I really want a female Predator in this movie. I 100% think it's time we got a female Predator. And it's not like, oh, you know, you know, why do we need a female Predator? You know, we don't need that. Have, has no one read the comics or played the fucking video games? We, you know, if you are a die-hard fan of the lore, you know, of this lore, of the Predator, of the Yaucha lore, you know that the female Predators are just as dangerous as the male Predators. They just don't do a lot of missions, because they're usually, in some, in some books, it states that they're out training the men, and the young, and the younglings, or, well, the children, I didn't know why I went Star Wars there for a second, but, like, yeah, there are female predators out there. So, I think that might actually be the way they go, because this is about a female, uh, this is about a female protagonist who is trying to prove herself, and that could be a nice little, like, uh, between, uh, that could be a nice little, like, I'm trying to find the right word, like, character study, or, you know, have it be a female predator who's also on her first hunt, has come to this planet, and is encountering, you know, someone she considers a worthy foe. And this, like, when it, it all ra uh, wraps up, that's when the rest of the predator culture goes, hey, some good-ass trophies on that planet, let's go! Anyway... So I think I've talked enough about this. Uh, I'm just, I'm scared about the editing, and I don't want to put my faith too much in a Predator movie. That's my thing, is that I want to see a good, that's all I want is a good Predator movie. I've had a bad R-rated Predator movie with the Predator, and I got burnt, I'm still dealing with the burn of that. Um, I've seen a lot of just, and also AVP Requiem. That was another R-rated Predator movie that sucked. And it had the, uh, it was an R... Uh, yeah, that's that's that was the other thing that was the problem. Um, that was, It's just bad. I just want a good story with violence. Is it so hard to ask for a violent story, a good story? But you guys tell me in the comments below. Are you guys excited or are you guys not? Just comment below, let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.